Hi everyone, it's Joel here again and today we're looking at how to do animation in Photoshop, frame by frame animation. And what you can see here, what I've, what I've loaded up, is an image here I took of an empty classroom and inside each one I've put in Simpson characters inside each folder here in the layers panel. So I've got six characters here and each character is inside this folder here. And the students need to frame by frame move these characters around their own classroom. And I've locked the classroom layer here so there's no accidental moving of the classroom because we don't want to have that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your timeline. So in the Windows panel up here, in the Windows menu I should say, um, go down to Timeline and choose Timeline. And that brings up the timeline here. Um, I'm just going to fit the whole screen in so we can see the whole thing. There we go. And I can see all my characters. If I wanted to, I could hide some of these to start with, but I'm going to start with all of them on, so I'll click on all of them. And what I want to do is I want to create a frame animation. Now, you might have the other one selected, which is here, the video timeline. That's not what we're doing today. So if you do see that, just click on the arrow and go frame animation and press that button. And now we're ready. And in fact, what we've already got is our first uh, frame here, the characters all lined up in a row there. And before I keep going, I just want to set up a couple of things. I want to change 0 seconds, and I'm going to change that to 0 0.2 seconds. That's a good one to use. And so there's my first frame. So now I'm going to use my Move tool over here, and I'm going to start moving these characters around. Now, if I start trying to move things, you can see we're going to have a problem because right now I'm on the layers pan I'm on the um, background layer which is locked which can't move so Photoshop's having a really hard time with that now I could click on the one that I want Bart for example and move him and then click on Nikki if I wanted to do that and move her sorry over here um, but that can get kind of tedious so what I've told the students to do is to hold down the control button Holding down the control button when you're on the move tool means that as you're moving across, it actually picks up which layer that it is on each character. So I've still got my hand on the control button, I'm not letting go, and I'll move Bart a bit, and I'll move Lisa over here, and I'll move this one over here, and this one over here, and this one over here. I'm still not letting go. This one over here like that. I'll let go, and now I'll press the new frame button, and that's recorded that frame. And now I might move Bart up here and do a new frame and Bart up here and move, do a new frame and this time this one up here and do a new frame and this one over here and do a new frame and this one over here and do a new frame. So as you can see, every time I make a movement, I add a frame. And so as I go through this, I can change this. I'm going to change this here where it says once. I'll change that to forever. So it just keeps looping and looping. And I'll press the play button to see what we've got. Okay. Now, that's fine, but then what I did was I actually told my students to come back into the middle once they've sort of figured that bit out, and I introduced them to the term tweening. Now, tweening is where you start at the beginning, you set up an end point, and then you ask the computer to tween, which is to fill in the frames in the gap so that you don't have to go every single little frame. So this is how it works. I'm going to have Bart over here. I'm just going to press frame 7 so we know where we're going from. This is the start point here. I'm going to go new frame. That's going to copy the exact frame there. And I'm going to have Bart... I'm just going to hold down the control button so I'm showing Bart here. I'm going to have Bart go all the way up here. Now that's a big jump going from here to here. Now normally I would tell students don't do that, don't do such big jumps because all you're going to do is flash across the screen, little movements all the time. But in this case I am, here to here. Now with my last frame selected, my end point, I'm going to go over to here, the tween button here. I'm going to click on tween. Okay, so this box comes up and it asks me how many frames do I want to add and I'm going to choose, I'm going to leave it at five for now, we'll see how that looks. Um, I want all layers. I want all these things checked, that's all good, and I want to tween with the previous frame. In other words, I want five frames in between eight and seven. I'm going to press OK, and bang, done, like that. So if I click on seven, that was my start point, and now the computer's filled in these little bits. Now, these are big jumps because I've only asked for five frames, so let's have a look and see how that goes. 
it's a it's a it's a bit much so I'm actually going to stop that and I'm going to delete those ones I'm going to go from uh, 8 to 12 and delete those five frames that we just made I'll say yes so there I have my beginning and end point again this time I'm going to click on tween and this time I'm going to choose 10 10 frames to add and press OK now let's go to uh, 7 so we have 7 8 9 10 so that's a slower progression and that might look a little bit more natural let's have a look there we go perfect so of course we can do that for more than one character so this is my endpoint over here so now I'm going to press new frame to copy that I'm going to move Lisa over here I'm going to move this one over here I'm going to move this one over here and maybe this boy over here and this boy over here that's my endpoint from here to there and in this case I will do five frames so I'm going to make sure that my last frame is selected click on the tween I'm going to choose five this time and press OK that gives me my five frames and now as you can see they all start moving into their position let's do the whole thing very nice and that's really all it is to it. I got the kids to experiment and play around with it. Obviously, it's limited. The, the characters can only move because there's no manipulation here. Um, you could flip them horizontally so they're facing the other direction. Um, that's a, another tutorial for another time. Uh, it's, it's fairly easy to do, though. But essentially, that's what they're doing. So I just basically got the kids to make up a story of the Simpsons visiting their classroom when they're at lunchtime and what they got up to. All right, so that is my class on animating stop motion frame by frame in Photoshop. Thanks for listening.